The Mother's Day commitment tour rolls on. Commitment number two on this day is Caden Salter. Caden, why Tennessee? Uh, it was just – it felt like home when I visited the place. Uh, my family loved it. I loved it. Uh, the chance, the abilities that the coaches have up there, just it was all great with that coaching stuff. Take me through the development part of your decision. Obviously, Jim Chaney, Chris Winky, two guys that – have either played the position at a high level or coached it at a high level for a long, long time. Um, how big of were they in the decision, and, and, and how important was the development side of things when you sat down and started to work towards this decision? Uh, that was real big, uh, being able to be getting coached by some recent NFL players. Of course, the Heisman Trophy winner uh, preparing me for the next stage to, to make it to the NFL. That was a real big uh, thing. Have been able to have a quarterback coach and a position coach, I me mean, a quarterback coach and an offensive coordinator, so I can get feedback, automatic feedback from my quarterback coach right after I do something wrong. Whenever I, whenever I do something right, I can get automatic feedback. All right. So when our Sam Spiegelman sat down with you on Zoom a, a week or two ago, you told him that your mom wanted you at Tennessee. Yes, you did, you're doing this decision on Mother's Day, so. You know, almost it was kind of a giveaway. Um, you know what? How important was your mom in the decision, and and just how at peace is she with knowing her baby is going to be going that far away from home? Uh, my mom, she was. It was big in the decision. Of course, it was a family decision. But the play, I chose Tennessee because of me. I loved it when I went down on a visit. I loved that I was able to watch them practice. Uh, I loved the beautiful campus, of course. Being able to play in the SEC at that big stage. With those, with that coaching staff, that was real big. Uh, my dad loved it. My mom loved it. The whole family loved it. Just felt like home when I went down. Uh, just all of that was great. Sometimes we talk about, you know, you, you see the timing is just right in things. The timing was kind of perfect uh, in your recruitment with Tennessee. You got up here. You were able to finish your visit right as, you know, the, the COVID stuff started to happen and, and all the dead periods began. Um, when you look back, I mean, it was it just kind of, you know, uh, you know, a, a, a cool moment to be able to get that visit in right as all this happened. Because who, if you didn't make it here, who knows where you would be right now with Tennessee, right? Yeah, that was real big. Uh, I was thought I was the last person on campus. So that's probably – that's real big. Also, uh, just being able to get down there, that was a real big factor, being able to watch them practice, uh, checking out the facilities, talking to the coaches, well, being able to sit down and talk to the coaches and just tell, let them uh, – letting them tell me, like, the opportunity I have to come in compete uh that was real big let's talk about your game a little bit how would you describe your game uh, i feel like i can throw but also when like when it when there's nothing open I, uh, I can stay in the pocket or get out the pocket and just waste time i feel like i don't think i can get sick uh i just the whole season i got sick two times i get away from linemen pretty easy uh, just get when i when things aren't open i get downfield use my legs uh so I pretty like coaches say, and I also think probably like a pro style quarterback that can sit in the pocket but have the abilities to get out the pocket with his legs. How at ease do you feel on the big stage? I mean, you know, you played high school games at TCU. You played them at, you know, uh, you know Jerry's World there at the, at the where the Cowboys play. I mean, you've played in some big venues. Now, granted, those places aren't full because you know um, they're so big it's impossible to pack them out for a high school game, even in the great state of Texas where high school football is king. But, I mean, you've played in some pretty neat venues. Yeah, that was real big. Uh, I like the I like the lights to shine bright on me real big, uh, the big fan bases that we have. Of course, playing in 6A uh, football, public school football, you are always had big fan bases. You know, always playing some nice big stadiums against some very good teams, national ranked teams. And just, that's all great. All right, I got two more questions. We'll get you out the door. How much are you going to be a leader in this class now that you're in the boat? I mean, you see Kamar and, and, and Dylan and Cody and all those guys just wearing out Twitter, wearing out guys they want to join them. Will you join in on that? Oh, of course. Uh, when I commit, trust me, it's going to be some more co people coming behind me. All right, and lastly, since we're talking Twitter, take me through that Twitter profile picture. You got the Joker on there. Where'd that come from? And, uh, and how, how much you know do, do people talk to you about that? Uh, people ask me that all the time. It just one day I was at home, I was bored, just looking up things, and I was scrolling down Twitter. I seen everybody had pictures of, like their football pictures and things like that. I was like, I feel like changing it because I like to be different. Caden, okay, we appreciate it, man. Good luck the rest of the way, and uh, 
you know, if you ever need anything, don't hesitate to give us a yell, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you, Caden. No problem.